What is up, 216? How awkward could this be? Beast 2513 showing love to a team up north. Am I breaking all the barriers of divisional contradictions and complications? Who knows? But I'm having fun. Like I said, it's draft season, so we got to get into it. With the first pick that the Browns have available, I had to go ahead and draft Mozzie Smith. Now, I've done a few mock drafts for the Browns, and sometimes he's not available. This time he was, so I had to take him. Mozzie Smith, I know you guys drafted Perrion Winfrey last year, and I know Big Perrion, I was a fan of him as well. But I really feel like Perrion's potential is really at being a guy that can get after the quarterback. He's a big, athletic guy. like So I want to put a guy like Mozzie, a big, run stuffing, uh, gap clogging type of guy and see if we can get this run game, you know, under order. And let's and let's have Mozzie Smith at the at the nose tackle and put Perry on at the three and really elevate uh this Cleveland Brown defensive line because we know they got Miles Garrett. And so with my second pick, I had to go with Noah Sewell. Now I know it's like, huh, this guy's not good in coverage, blah blah blah, but dog. Man, Noah Sewell is a linebacker, man. The Browns' run defense was ranked 25th last year. A pass, the pass defense was ranked top five. Cause we, we all know Miles Garrett can get after the quarterback. We already, we already know about Denzel Ward, Greedy Newsom, the whole, the whole gang. But I'm telling you, so far we 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 are tra- we are attacking uh, the defensive needs of the Cleveland Browns right now. We got Mozzie Smith. Clog in the middle, you know, and allowing guys like Noah Sewell. And I don't know what you're going to do with uh, Deion Jones or what have you, but but a guy like Noah Sewell, you bring him in and just know his 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 objective is to come in and take the head off running backs. And so with our next pick, we took a guy that – and, and Trey Palmer, wide receiver out of Nebraska, who's a huge sleeper. As I'm speaking, you guys are seeing the highlights. This guy is an amazing talent. As a Bengals fan, I want this guy. You know, my head coach, Zach Taylor, he's from Nebraska. We love Nebraska, guys. I like Cam Taylor Britt, Stanley Morgan Jr. But uh, Trey Palmer, man, yo, I know Cleveland needs weapons on the receiver. I mean, you guys got an X and Amari Cooper. I like Peoples Jones, one of the most underrated receivers in the NFL. I feel like Peoples Jones can play any position at, at the receiver. He can play the X or he can play the Z. You know what I'm saying? But Trey Palmer, you could put him in a slot. You could put him at the Z. And then in that same fourth round, we, we went ahead and got another wide receiver. We doubled down. And we got Tyler Scott from the University of Cincinnati. Uh, a guy similar to Palmer. This guy has got a lot of great stop and start um, abilities. I really feel like he has good d- deep speed as well. And what you want to do with a guy like Palmer and Scott is let these guys battle it out in camp. For that number three position because we know that the top two spots are pretty much locked in and then with the fifth round we go ahead and we address the secondary uh with trey dean out of florida this kid i feel like he could play nickel he, he could play you know he could play both safety positions this guy's a great athlete he's a, he's great getting after the ball getting you know attacking the ball carrier i feel like he's one of the most versatile pieces you know he might be the next cj johnson garner um, same school as well. So I think this guy's going to be a great player in the NFL. We want to help that Brown secondary. And then with the sixth round pick, we went back to Florida. And we we, we, we went ahead and gone ahead and, and, and attacked the edge as well. We got some depth with Brent Cox Jr. Um, you know, I don't know what you guys are going to do with Clowney, if you keep him or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that. But I always feel like you can't have enough pass rushers, right? So guys do get tired. You need guys to come in and, 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 and you know, keep – Everybody fresh. So I think that's a great pick. Lastly, Daniel Scott out of Cal. Now, this guy is a hidden gem. Like, I might have to do a, spe- a specific video on him, but Daniel Scott, look at the look at the highlights, man. He's a great safety. So I, I, I'm pretty I'm making sure that there's no excuses when it comes to camp. Brown should have safety depth, you know, defense line depth. Um, and, and wide receiver depth. So I feel like this is an A-plus draft on me. Uh, Cleveland fans, tell me what you think. It's b 513 man. We got more mock drafts coming soon. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Comment below. We got more content coming on the way. I'm out.